you guys. Yeah. Welcome to my team. We're streaming live right now, so I got you guys make a lot of a noise because Alex is watching us right now in his hospital. Everybody say hi to Alex for me. Yeah. See all you guys come out here and support and stuff like that makes almost brings a tear to my eye. You know, I was actually just at the hospital this morning with him and I was with him all day, so. It's a, it's a lot, it's, it means a lot for me to see you guys come out here and support. I mean, I can't say enough for it. So thank you guys so much for coming out and doing this. You guys can clap. Hold on. Oh, people coming in? Oh, they don't have a, they don't have a watch, apparently. Just... Don't worry, no. Oh, you were sitting with a band. What are you guys, groupies? Hoping to get lucky later. No, they paid us. Oh, they paid you. Oh, you're one of those girls. <laughs> She's got. She don't work for free. <laughs> no woman works for free. Let me tell you that. <laughs> she, she knows that by now. But you know, like I said, this is very special to me that you guys come out here and. Uh, and you know, this it's not something it's hard for me to do come out here and actually host the show for my own son. That was very hard for me to do because you know, to live with it every day. But um, it means a lot. And, it, and here's why. Because Alex is, is going through a lot right now. And uh, he said a few things to me today, or uh, this past week, that uh, actually helps us get through things. And uh, one of the things that he told me, I, I had to apologize to him over the weekend. We had a bunch of family in town. And I had to apologize for over the weekend for, uh, I said, sorry I had to treat you a little different, you know, than everybody else. I had to keep my the sun and stuff like that. And he, he says to me, he goes, hey, yeah, just to let you know, cancer is what I have, but it's not who I am. So, I mean, for a 12 year old to say that, that's pretty deep for a 12 year old and stuff like that. But uh, we have a lot of fun in the hospital. Let me tell you guys this though. We are, we are in the hospital. We start looking around because we're in there a lot. We look, start looking at the nurses, right? And uh, today I looked at them and I go, I go, what kind of insurance do we have to have to have good looking nurses? And he looks at me and goes, I don't know, but I think we need better insurance. <laughs> that was at the beginning of the week. Well, this week, he, or today, he had a good looking nurse. He turns and looks at me this morning and goes, did our insurance change? <laughs> You know, and it's funny because we make fun of a lot of things. Humor gets us through a lot of things. And, uh, you know, I, and I was making fun of his hair, you know, or his lack thereof. He's, you know, and he, and he looks at me and goes, do you really think you should be making fun of my hair, Dan? He says, look at your head. It looks like a porcupine raping a rock. I'm like, nice, son. I go, that comes with somebody who has nice, wispy hair. He goes, wispy? Really, Dan? He goes, do you know how gay you just sounded when you said that? <laughs> You guys got kids though? You guys, you guys got kids? Make noise if you have kids. <laughs> it's, having kids is fun, isn't it? Isn't it? And there's a lot of things you learn about kids, like, you know, how uh, how honest they are, how brutally honest they are. Because not only do I have Alex, but I have two of them. Apparently Radio Shack wants, has a recall. <laughs> but, you know, my, I have, I have an eight-year-old son, and there's certain things in life you can't explain to little kids either, right? Like a midget. I can explain sex to my kids, but I can't imagine it. And here's why, because uh, the kids are honest, right? Kids are brutally honest. Like my eight-year-old, he was sitting in my lap, poking me in my belly. And he goes, hey, daddy, when's that baby coming out? And I go, dude, daddies don't have babies. So he goes, so you're just fat? I got to think maybe he's right, so I went and looked in the mirror, come to realize this is no longer a beard. It's just a barricade to separate my face from my neck. Yeah, check this out. I got Bill's Brave Go Boy tattoo on that arm right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Swear to God, that started off as a skeleton. <laughs> Tell you what, if you ladies, you guys, and especially you ladies, if you guys are going to get a tattoo, you better be very careful of what you get and where you get it. Because me and my eight year old son were walking through Walmart, and we saw this beautiful 20 year old woman who had this beautiful butterfly tattoo going across her chest. And I had to stop and tell her, in about 30 years, that's going to look like a moth to hit a windshield. <laughs> But like I say, there's certain things that like you can't explain to little kids, like a midget, because we were in Walmart, one came waddling right past us. Is there one in here? It's got quiet. I saw the waitress. What, is she hiding under a table? I saw her. 
thing on top of her head, waiting tables. But like I said, there's certain things I like can't explain because uh, my son goes, hey, Dad, hey, Dad. I'm like, I know, I know, I saw him, I saw him. And he just goes like, Dad, Dad, I'm like, I know. And I tried to explain to him. I go, look, that's what happens when you don't eat your vegetables. <laughs> that wasn't good enough for him. No, no. He blurts out, he goes, I'm taller than him. So now I can tell this little man had had it, like up to here. And he comes over and he pokes me in the head. Well, not this one, but he pokes me in the head. And he goes, sir, I think you need to teach your son some manners. I said, you're right. I said, son, next time, pick on people of your own size. Oh, I don't want to get an ass kicked by a midget. That'd be embarrassing with a little alligator arms and big watermelon head trying to get him. I just say the things you guys are thinking, that's all. I mean, you guys all think the same things when you see them. They're creepy little creatures. They scared the shit out of me. I did a show one night. I love that, I love that story, and I did that show one night, and I was doing a show with a, with a, with a little feller, and uh, I asked him, I go, look, I do this joke about a midget. Do you mind if I do it? And he's like, no, it's, it's funny. Go ahead, do it. I wish I would have looked at the crowd a little better, because there was 41 people in the crowd. 23 of them were midgets. <laughs> but only half the crowd that I'm used to seeing. <laughs> and they were pissed when I said midget. That was like saying the N-word at an NAACP rally. They got pissed. And if they come up this one, they'll be on a cart and a half and half. <laughs> well, since you want to bring attention to yourself, <laughs> this band groupie. I'm gonna guess there aren't laugh lines around your cheeks there, those are probably stretch marks, I'm guessing. <laughs> and that's what happens when you talk when I'm up here, so let that be a lesson to you. I have three kids, I ain't fucking around. You guys will listen when I'm talking. That was wrong. I, I would apologize to her, but you know, that's, that's, that's all good. That's all good. I'm, I mean everything I say, just to let you know. There's a little bit of truth in it all. So anyways, and uh, what's some of the fun things about kids too is they like to play fun little games, right? Don't they kids love games? And, my, and Alex is very competitive. He loves to play this game called Would You Rather. Did you guys ever play that game with a kid? Yeah. Oh, do it's a fun little game. It's a great way to fuck your kids up. But that's what I do as a dad. I don't want them being normal by any means because that's boring. So Alex comes up and he goes, hey, dad, let's play this game called, you go, called Would You Rather? I go, fine. He goes, well, since you're older, you get to go first. I go, fine. I earned it. He's 12. I want to screw him up. So I go, all right, son. I go, would you rather pick your nose or pick your butt? He says, well, I guess I'd rather pick my nose first. <laughs> first. Next choice. Smell, smell a whole lot different than the other way around, son. It really would. So anyways, and he goes, all right, yeah, it's my turn. He goes, I want a shot. I go, fine, you want to have a shot? He goes, yeah. He goes, all right. I go, Dad, would you rather get a wedgie or wear women's underwear? <laughs> I've done both. <laughs> hey, have I put women's underwear on once? Makes it look bigger in the front, fellas. <laughs> Except I put a thong on, backwards, <laughs> and it's still covered. <laughs> he goes, Dad, that's disgusting. I go, oh, man, it is a little bit disgusting if you think about it. He goes, I want another shot. I go, fine, you want another shot? He goes, yeah. He goes, all right. He goes, Dad, would you rather get kicked in the shins or hit in the stomach? I go, what is wrong with you? Neither one. So, pop, he hits me in the balls. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not going to get my ass kicked by a 12-year-old. I'm going to win this game right now, and Daddy doesn't fight fair. I go, look here, you little broken rubber. I go, would you rather find out that there's no such thing as Santa Claus or that you're adopted? I go, well, it doesn't matter because both of them are true. That's terrible. You guys have been a lot of fun. You guys ready to keep things rolling along here? Awesome. All right, we're going to keep things rolling along. We've got a lot of friends coming up here. We're actually got about 10 comics. You guys ready for that? <laughs>